Imagine a world in which a 3D model of almost every object has already been created by somebody else and is available for download off the web. In this world, a key question in computer graphics research shifts from how do we create 3D models to how do we find them. We have developed a web-based search engine for 3D models. Like any search engine, it allows a user to specify a query. And then, it returns a ranked set of thumbnail images representing the best matching 3D models. The user can download and use any model or search for similar ones with a single click. The focus of our research is to investigate shape-based search methods. We have studied several possible query interfaces and geometric matching algorithms. At first, one might think that just text keywords are sufficient for most searches. However, there are many cases where text matching fails. For instance, if I search on the word plane, I get back both airplanes and geometric planes. But if I search based on shape similarity, I get back only airplanes. Similarly, if we are, for example, trying to create a database of face models for recognition experiments, we can type the word face, but then many models with polygonal faces are also returned. However, if we click on one of the results to find similar shapes, we get over 50 face models among the top hits. These models have names like Justin, Welcome, and so on, and thus common text keywords would not have matched them. In order to find these similar shapes, we perform the following operations. Given a model, we rasterize its polygons into a voxel grid. Treating it as a function defined in 3Space, we decompose the voxel grid into a collection of functions defined on concentric spheres, indexing the functions by radius. We decompose each of these functions as a sum of harmonic functions of different frequencies, analogous to a Fourier decomposition. Three sample functions and their decompositions are shown here. Using the fact that rotations do not change the amplitude within a frequency, we define the signature of each spherical function as a list of these amplitudes. Finally, we combine these different signatures to obtain a 2D shape descriptor for the 3D model. To compare two shape descriptors, we simply compute the Euclidean distance between them and use a fast indexing method to find the k nearest neighbors. Even with a shape matching method, we still need to investigate how a user can specify a query. One way is to sketch a 3D shape using Teddy and then ask the search engine to return other models with similar shapes. Unfortunately, we found this interface too difficult to learn for novice users. So we also investigated 2D sketching interfaces. In this example, a simple 2D sketch is able to retrieve a class of tables that would be difficult to describe with words. For more focused searches, we allow the user to draw 2D sketches from more than one viewpoint. For instance, here, front, side and top views are very effective at describing a particular chair. In this case, the database contains over 200 chairs and text keywords would not be as specific. Finally, we allow a user to upload a 3D model and search for similar ones. For example, imagine you want to search for illegal copies of your model on the web. Here we search for models similar to the David model scanned by Stanford. The search yields another David model created at Cambridge University and some other models of people standing in a similar pose. As a last example, we are looking for a substance that might come in handy in the final days before the deadline. Let's see... Aspirin. Similar shape. Ah, great! Valium. Caffeine. Adrenaline.